Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this antenna and giving one of them away. Stick around and we'll get right to it. A big shout out to these four gentlemen. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Let's take a bit of a closer look at this antenna before we unpackage it. Now, this is manufactured by TN07Engineering.com. It is their model IMD, as in Delta-109. And guys, I was not paid to do this review. Bob was nice enough to send the antenna over, and we are going to do a giveaway at uh, the end of this. So stick around uh, for the review and I'll tell you guys how to enter. Uh, now this works from 3.5 to 55 megahertz with uh, less than two to one SWR with no tuner. And it'll work uh, on 160 meters or 1.8 uh, megahertz, 1.8 to 2 uh, megahertz with a tuner. And it's good for uh, QRP all the way up to 100 watts on single sideband. And it's rated to 25 watts with digital. So let's take a look at it and see what's included in the bag. All right, so first we've got the matching device there. Then we've got a uh, coil of wire. Uh, and if I remember right, that is 67 feet of wire. Uh, then we get the nice little carry bag. Let me get that plastic out of the way there so that uh, it's not making as much racket. Uh, so you do have the carry bag that comes with it and then some instructions. Uh, and yeah, looking at the instructions, it is 67 uh, feet of wire. Uh, and it tells a little bit more about it. Uh, uh, a few cautions uh, not to put too much power in it, not to over tighten the fasteners, don't substitute fasteners, yada, yada, yada. You can read that if you want. But that's what comes in the package. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, putting this thing on the air and uh, hooking up to a radio and see what happens. So before we hook the antenna up to the radio, I did go ahead and hook it up to the little Nano VNA. Man, talk about a great little uh, SWR meter for field use. Uh, but as you can see, and I apologize, it's a little bit blurry there, but that's right around 3.6 megahertz. And it looks like we're running about a 1.53 uh, uh, to 1 SWR. So I'm going to take, and I apologize, it's a little shaky. I'm shooting this in the field and... Uh, doing it out of the back of my Jeep. Let's go ahead and move that up. Let's see, there's six megahertz, it looks like. So there's a 7.2 megahertz, I do believe, and we're at 1.82, 1.81 1 to one. And it is shifting just a little bit. It is breezy here today, so I'm sure that that's affecting the SWR just a little bit. Okay, so let's carry on up in the uh, band here. So here we are on 20 meters, and you can see it's about uh, 1.45 to 1 here. So I'm not going to scan the entire band. I've only got the Nano VNA calibrated, I believe, from uh, 80 meters through 14 meters. But you guys get the idea. Let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up to the radio. So let me go ahead and roll in a bit of footage here uh, of the way the antenna is uh, strung up. You'll see that I have it in uh, kind of an inverted L configuration, uh, but it's really a inverted L sloper, I guess you could call it. I only had the one mast with me, and this is typically the way I deploy the antenna. Uh, connecting the antenna up is fairly straightforward and easy. We use the one carabiner to clip onto one of the lugs that's on the uh, matching device. And then we uh, attach the end of the antenna to the screw on top. 
So now let's go ahead and jump over to the radio. Now I am seeing a little bit of difference in SWR on the radio versus the Nano VNA. So you'll just have to uh, figure out which one you trust the most, uh, the 891 or the Nano VNA. Uh, it's the only two uh, devices that I have out here in the field to test with today. And remember guys, I'm not using a tuner at all. So if you do uh, use a tuner, it would be very easy, even for a radio like the ICOM 7300. I believe the most it'll tune is like three to one. Uh, before it goes into its emergency mode. But even with something like that, uh, it would be very easy. Now, I am going to be using uh, JS8 call and JS8 call frequencies to move through this just because it makes it super easy for me. Uh, so we will start on 10 meters and let's go ahead and take a look at 10 meters. I'm just going to hit the tune button for a couple of seconds and you'll see we're just under uh, two to one SWR according to the radio. So not bad there. We'll go ahead and move over to 15 meters now. And again, we'll go ahead and run the uh, tune on the radio or on JS8 call rather. And you'll see that we're registering right at two to one right there. So, uh, so far so good. So now let's take a look at uh, 17 meters here. We'll go ahead and hit the tune button on JS8 call. And you can see that we're just under a two to one SWR on 17 meters. Next up, we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, 20 meter band. So let's hit the tune button in JS8 call. Now that one's showing a little bit higher. I didn't see those kind of numbers with the Nano VNA. The Nano was showing it uh, less than two to one. So uh, again, you have to figure out which device you trust the most. But uh, regardless, uh, let's assume that it is uh, this three to one at worst case scenario. Well, it's still very easy to tune. Honestly, I would run it uh, right here without a tuner. Uh, the radio is not complaining about high SWR. Next up, we've got 40 meters. So we'll go ahead and hit the tune button there. And again, you can see radio showing, I guess about 2.5 to one. Again, we didn't see that high of a reading using the Nano VNA. And last but not least, we will go ahead and uh, see if we can get this thing to work in the digital portion of the 80 meter band. So let's go ahead and hit the tune button there. And uh, we've got uh, 1.7 or so, 1.8 to 1 SWR, according to the radio, so not bad. Now, one thing with this antenna, I have experimented with some different lengths of wire. At home, I run, if I remember right, it's about 132 feet of wire. Guys, this is my primary antenna. Uh, and that's the reason I wanted to bring it to you and do a review on it. And uh, again, Bob was kind enough to sponsor the giveaway uh, so that we could go ahead and pass one of these antennas out to the lucky winner. Now, one of the really cool things about this uh, antenna is we can actually go up uh, on the band. So this is in the high, one of the higher sections of the band uh, for 80 meters. And let's go ahead and give it a test here. Don't hear anybody on that right now. So let's uh, just key up with a little bit of AM here. And you can see that on the upper end, we're running just over two to one SWR according to the radio. So I think we're gonna be fine uh, here. Again, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I haven't owned this radio that long. I don't know how accurate this SWR meter is. The Nano VNA was showing uh, quite a bit better. Well, I, most of the time. Uh, so it may just be the radio here that's uh, given us a bit of a false reading. All right, guys, so you all know that I'm a huge fan of Winlink. I had to go ahead and try to make a uh, Winlink connection before we wrap this up. So I'm uh, connecting up with K0SI right now. You may can hear that data running in the background a little bit. But all in all, guys, this is a fantastic field antenna. Uh, anything that I can operate without a tuner, then I want to use that. You can see the radio is still indicating about 2.5 to 1 SWR. I honestly do not believe it's that high. And uh, here I am making a Winlink connection. 
So anyway, let's get to the important stuff now, and that's how to enter the contest to make this antenna your very own. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave this open for the next seven days. All you've got to do is put your call sign in the comments below and make sure your mailing address is current on QRZ and your email address is current on QRZ.com. That way I can uh, go ahead and alert you. We will do another video with the drawing of this so that we can show you guys, uh, so we can show everybody who won the, uh, the antenna. Now, if I try to contact you and I can't get in touch with you, I'm going to go ahead and draw the next, uh, the next name in line. So make sure your information is current on QRZ.com and maybe you will be the lucky winner. All right, guys, that's it for today. We will see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.